building the life of your dreams? Like, are you living the life with the greatest amount of joy, passion, energy, excitement, fulfillment, all of the good stuff? Because, you know, some of us live life in a little box. Like, we're not very happy, we're doing fine, we're dealing with our issues. And, you know, we kind of create that as a pattern in our life. So we're gonna talk about how to break out of the box and live the charged life. Live a life of fulfillment, live a life of passion, live a life of adventure. The life that you, my friend, have always been looking for. So some of us don't live that kind of life. We live emotions that kind of drag us down the same rabbit hole. Whether it's being in a state of fear or anxiety, whether it's being in a place where, you know, we're a little bit apathetic, like the world may come and go, and, it's just, and you know what? Society trains us to be that way because we are surrounded by catastrophe that happen all the time that if we got super emotional about it, it would be a little hard to cope. But we can't be that way about our own life. You know, it's interesting because um, so many people, they live in a state of fine. Like, how is the world? How's life? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Like, who wants to do fine? How about you do outstanding? How about you do amazing? How about you like a magnificent life? I mean, you have the choice to choose, right? So it's a bit that I have been at all day long. This particular topic was talked about in actually great detail, which I'm not going to be able to get into you tonight with you all. Um, but here's just some of my notes. Um, this it has been super organized. It's been absolutely amazing going through this information and so you know one of the things that we did to discover how to live a life of fulfillment how to live this charged up all out living out loud and wild colors life that you want and you know you could have so there's six particular things that if you focus on implementing in life it will bring the joy it will bring the fulfillment it will bring the peace it will bring the essence of what you want to create in your life so I hope you're ready because we're going to rock on through them. So the first thing is to live with your purpose. Live your life's purpose. To be going out there and whatever you feel that you are on this planet to do, live it out. Like we do not, this is not a dress rehearsal, right? Like we only have this one life to live. There's no other life that we have the opportunity to go out there and fulfill. So are you living your life's purpose? interesting topic for conversation. I don't know if you remember, um, maybe about five, 10 years ago, there was a book that came out called The Purpose Dream Life. And it was all about finding your purpose, finding out who you are, finding out what is important to you and what do we want out of this life anyways. But if you can find out that for yourself and you can do whatever you do on a daily basis for business, for work, for network marketing, for, for whatever you're doing, if you can tie that into your life's purpose, that will charge you up like nothing else. You will never work another day in your life and it'll be your life's work. It'll be such a joy to do what you do when you're living your life's purpose. So that is number one. Number two, my personal favorite, connect with your creator. Like God puts you here on this planet, talk to him. He is there, he will speak to you. If you just simply like tap in. You know how a great way to think about this is like, something different or something foreign to you. Okay, have you ever been in your car and you're like looking for the radio station that you know is there? Like whatever your favorite radio station is, you're looking, you're there, clicking the, th the thing on the buzzer or maybe you're turning the knob and you're tuning, you're tuning, you're tuning. Well, check this out. That radio station is broadcasting. The question is, are you listening? Are you tuned into that radio station? Can you hear what's going on? And my friends, God is no different. God is speaking to you. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. The question is, are you turning that knob? Are you tuning in? Are you, you know, opening up your ear to hear what he has to say for you? Because he will give you favor in the marketplace. You're out there building a business. You're pushing, you're striving, you're contacting your list, you're prospecting, you're doing everything it takes to go out there and get this job done. You want a little super on your natural? Ask God for some favor in the marketplace. Say, hey God, who is on my list that I need to be re reaching out to today? Bring it to my remembrance. You will find that there are people that you know that are not even on your list of names that somehow will come up in your memory. You will reach out and connect with them. They're like, you know, I've been thinking about calling you. You know, I'm so glad we connected because I wanted to find out more about what you're doing. You're like, thank you God. When you make God your business partner and you connect and talk with them on a regular basis, 
it will take you so far in your life. And you know what? You're also going to get a ton of fulfillment for yourself. So that is number two. All right. So number three is take care of your body. You know, your body is a temple, right? And it's really the only place that you have to live here while you're on this earth. So we got to take care of it. What is part of taking care of our body? Well, physical, right? Are we exercising? Are we doing something to move to get the blood pumping? You know, inside of you is this inner warrior, this person that's made to be let out. But oftentimes we're sitting there and we're like on our computer and doing different things. And we live in a day and age where people get like retarded problems. Oh, my back hurts because I've been on the computer so long or, oh, they're typing away and you know, their hurts because they've been playing the game or whatever. Like people are not hurt or, or you know, their body's not challenged from smashing into each other on football or doing something where they're really using the fullness of who they are. So I'm just gonna tell you, get out there and move. You know, we use a very small percentage of what we are created to be able to do. So move a little bit, take care of your body. You know, not only physically by moving, but what are you putting in it? Like, are we treating our bodies like a trash can or are we treating them like a temple? Um, you know, about, Maybe one or two years ago, I learned this concept of green living, which is basically you're, you're eating foods that are alive. You're eating fresh fruits, you're eating vegetables, you're eating nuts and berries and things that like, basically it's kind of like similar to if you've ever heard of adaptogenic herbs, where when you start putting these amazing things inside of your body, your body takes on the, the power that that food or that nutrient has to offer. And it makes you stronger. It makes you faster. It makes you, you know, more, um, alert, being able to think and, and just have that focus and have that clarity. So take care of your temple. It's where you have to live while you're here on this planet. So that is number three, number four, grow daily. Do something every day to grow who you are as a person. You know, so many times we, we feed ourselves daily, we brush our teeth daily, we do all these things daily, but we don't grow and expand our mind. So if you want to live the amazing life, if you want to live the charged life, you've heard this phrase, if you're green, you're growing. If you're ripe, you're rotting. So always be green, always be learning something. Have the, the humbleness inside your heart to say, you know what, hey, this is an area I want to get better in. I want to be better at connecting with people. I want to be better at public speaking. I want to be better at conflict resolution. Whatever that is for you, focus on an area that you can grow in. My uh, thing that I started doing over the last couple of years has helped me so very much. And I believe it can help you as well. You know, people that I've studied that make, you know, the seven and eight figures income, like they're doing very, very well. They all do a ton of personal development. Most of them, on average, read about one book per week. Now, I know that sounds like ridiculous. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so much, right? But how can you do it in a very simple way that could fit into the life that you have right now? Go on, um, what is it? Go, go on your phone, whether it's Apple or Android, whatever you have, get this app, it's called Audible, audible.com. When you get this app, you can get every book out there known to man, and it's an audiobook, so we will read it to you. So you could be working out, you could be driving, you could be washing dishes, you could do whatever you need to be doing right now, so it's not gonna take any more time out of your day, but you can be training and changing your mind, and you can go through a book a week and start getting the habits and the mental tenacity and the mindset and the philosophy and the set of the sale of better thinking so that you can go where you wanna go in this life. So. That is number four, how to get the most zest out of life. Let's go on to number five. Number five is all about giving back. Number five is about helping people and just giving of yourself, not expecting anything in return. Whether you're driving down the road and you know you see somebody on the corner and they're asking for a dollar, give them a dollar. Like, hey, you got a, you got a protein bar in your car, or a granola bar or something. Hey, they say they're hungry. They say they, they need some help. Do something to bless somebody else that, that you're not expecting anything back from. You see a little old lady coming out of the grocery store with her cart. Hey, can I help you with your groceries, ma'am? Can I help these in the car for you? Can I do something for you? Open the door for someone. You would be amazed the kind of joy and satisfaction and fulfillment just, that just these little kindnesses can create in your life. And you know what? The best part, you're in control of it. So the next time you see someone, just decide, just take a minute and stop and say, you know what? I'm gonna help them with that. Earlier today, I saw a lady and 
she had her Starbucks cup and it was beautiful until she spilled it all over the place and she was a little freaking out and she was a little dis disheveled. And I saw this as I'm walking by and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go back. And so I went back and I talked to her and she ended up getting it handled. But you know what? I felt better because I didn't just walk by like everybody else would walk by when someone's sitting there and needs some help. So let that be you. Like, let that be you, the person that says, you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to see if I can help. I'm going to go back and hey, I'm going to give the dollar. Or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Just give of yourself and it's going to create tons of joy and happiness and peace. Like you cannot buy the joy you will get from helping somebody. It's pretty awesome. So that is number five. Number six, is, and this is our final one, is live your life in the richest, most present way possible. What does that mean? That means you need to send your phone to jail sometimes, okay? Sometimes you are with your family, sometimes you are with your spouse, your significant other, your kids, people that you love and you care about, and each and every one of us sit there, like I don't know if you've seen this around Thanksgiving or Easter or something, and you have a room full of the entire family that's supposed to be like together, enjoying the holiday, and what are they all doing? They're all over there not even talking, not even conversing, giving their thumbs, you know, arthritis or whatever on their phones. So you know what? Send your phone to jail. Decide that you're going to be present with the person that you love and you care about most. Like if you're out there and you are hustling and you're striving and you're pushing to get to the finish line so that you can be free financially, keep the main thing, the main thing. And I'm sure that is your family and the people that you love and care about the relationships in your life. So when you're with them, be with them. Like don't be someplace else like that's a big thing because especially people that are pushing and striving and and wanting to achieve like if you are with your friend look in their eyes and really hear what they're saying and really take to heart what it is that they are sharing with you versus like being you know someplace else do you know what I'm talking about has anybody ever felt that like you're with someone and you're like you're so checked out for me. I don't even know why we're together because we're not you know neither one of us are paying attention right so just live fully and present with the people that you love and you care about. Even if you do it for short condensed periods of time, I mean, you don't have to do it the entire day, but when you do spend some time with them, you say, hey, you know what? We're gonna spend the last hour of the day together as a family or a husband and wife. We're gonna put the phones in jail. We're gonna put the electronics aside and we're gonna really connect. You know, husband and wife stuff, connect with your spouse. How was your day? What happened in your world? You know, just being together. So those are six things that if you, gosh, you're so sweet. If you want to live a more fully charged, more electric, more adventurous, more passionate life, if you want to have some pep in your step, if you want to have zest for, your, for, for life, start taking and applying these six things that we went over. They're not hard. You have control over each and every single one of them. So take it, my friend, use it, apply it in your life and live the life that God has in store for you. You know, the Bible says that, uh, you know, that, that I have, that God has come right to give us life and life in abundance, right? That means your finances are good. Your relationships are good. Your, your, um, your health is good. Like you're zest and full of life and fully present, fully alive, fully in it to win it. Instead of just kind of like comatosely grinding it out, living in our box, going through, you know, the daily grind of whatever that is. That is not you. Does not need to be you. You are not mediocre. You were created for way more. So I'm just saying step up to the plate, my friend, because you have everything that it takes to live the life that God has in store for you. So those are some of the things that I learned today. You know what? Something else in my journey over the last you know, several months in, in discovering personal development is that oftentimes we as human beings, we have these like issues that hold us back. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like issues, whether it's dealing with fear or whether it's dealing with lack of focus or just, we just have stuff that we have to bust through if we want to get to the finish line. If we are finally done playing around with this thing and we're ready to get our breakthrough and, you know, finally rank advance, finally move to the next level in our life and business. If that is you and you are ready for that, then I have something that I know for a fact will help you. If you click on the link that's listed in the description, you are going to get something that I recently put out and I am pretty excited about it because I know that if you go through these steps, if you go through this process, you will get the breakthrough that you're looking for. So what is it? It is the 10 step process 
for getting out of your own way and finally rank advancing. So if that's one of your goals, click on the link that's listed in the description. It will help you start br busting through some of the things that have been holding you back so you can be rank advancing, you can be helping some people on your team, you can be earning those checks, and you can get that opportunity to fire your boss if you want to. So click on that, enjoy it, it's my free gift to you. So take care, I'll see you all next time. For more great training and to receive your free bonus training, the 10 step process for getting out of your own way and finally rank advancing. Visit SummerGeronimo.com.